Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Berlin. I am Tejas, Senior Product Manager at Microsoft. I am here to talk to you about expanding your reach and revenue with Microsoft Store. Let me outline what we will cover in this session. We are going to talk about how Microsoft Store is uniquely positioned to maximize your reach and revenue. We will talk about new opportunities that will further amplify your reach and revenue through Microsoft Store. We will see in detail how each of these new opportunities generate so much value for you and your customers. And we have exciting walkthroughs or demos for each of the new opportunities. We will start with understanding why developers should choose to distribute or continue distributing with Microsoft Store. Microsoft Store is a trusted and integrated channel to distribute your apps and games to 1.5 billion Windows users. Over the past years, developers received billions of dollars in payouts from Microsoft Store, which shows its revenue potential. The store has generated more than a billion downloads over the last few years, indicating its high reach. Grow your business with complementary incentives from Microsoft Store and invest more resources into your business. Focus on your core business by leveraging Microsoft Store's distribution and payment network in 240 markets. Here are the new opportunities that we are launching or announcing for our developers today. Product page experiments and actionable insights are tools and insights to help you increase your reach to new users on Windows. Microsoft Store in-app ads SDK empowers developers to maximize your monetization with the power of ads. Let's deep dive into the first topic of the session, product page experiments. Icons and screenshots occupy up to 50% of surface area in Microsoft Store, and they are the first ones to catch your customer's attention span. You can increase your reach by A-B testing alternate product pages against the original and setting the best performing version to display to everyone on Microsoft Store. You can compare different app icons and screenshots on your Microsoft Store product page to find out which resonate with customers most using insights in Partner Center. Are you excited to know more about this? Yes, it's time for a demo. We are demonstrating this feature using Good Notes for Windows app in Microsoft Store. Let's consider a scenario where the developer wants to know if highlighting the journal writing capabilities of the app resonate well with customers. So the developer goes to Partner Center and opens the app. This is the new overview page experience for your app in Partner Center, consolidating all app actions and info in one place. This console also contextually prioritizes the information cards based on the application status. Right here, you can view an option to start your product page experiment. You can fill the experiment details and save the draft. You can submit the experiment when you are ready. The experiment details are now submitted for review. Once it is approved, your experiment goes live on Microsoft Store. Fifty percent of your customers on Microsoft Store will be taken to your new product page while the rest 50% will view the original product page. To know how your experiment is performing, you can go to Partner Center Insights. Compare the search impressions, page views, installs and conversion rates of both product pages. You can update your app with the best performing app icons and screenshots to display them to everyone on Microsoft Store. So optimize your reach now by visiting Partner Center. For more discoverability, always ensure product page 
is latest and up to date. You can use our features such as AI generated keywords to assist you. Developer community has been constantly asking us for increased monetization opportunities for apps and games. So today we are excited to announce a new in-app ads SDK for store developers to tap into demand from 500k plus advertisers and 80 plus DSP integrations from Microsoft Advertising. We understand you are waiting for this, so let's quickly jump into details. Microsoft Store in-app ads SDK serves personalized relevant ads that align to your customers' interests, encourage engagement, and drive more revenue. You can control the experience, so deploy ads in a way that works best for you and your audience with formats like native display and interstitial. There are no cost signups, no exclusivity, no volume requirements. This product is set up to really make it easy to earn more money. We offer easy payment options that automate payments thresholds are set and detailed reporting is available on real-time ad payouts data. You can stay focused on what you do best, that is building your business. We will take care of everything else. We want to empower individuals and businesses of all sizes to earn more from their apps and games. Microsoft Casual Games saw 30% more net revenue with the SDK over other ad solutions. The SDK offers simple onboarding process through Microsoft Monetize Now platform. If you have an MSA or an AAD account, you can easily sign up or you can create one in a couple of minutes and sign up. You can then enter your profile and payment information. If you already have an app or game in Microsoft Store, your account will have a super fast review process. Once approved, you add an ad unit, configure that unit to allow the different formats and match the look and feel of your app. Let's look at the three-step process to place the code in your app via the SDK. The first step is to initialize the SDK. The SDK's core MS Add SDK class must be initialized from the UI thread prior to calling any other APIs exposed by the SDK. The next step is to configure the SDK options to refine ad placement performance. The banner ad control and interstitial video ad will not successfully run an ad until the SDK configuration is set on the ad instance. The SDK configuration is per control and must be set every time. Lastly, there are two types of ad controls, banner and interstitial that you can choose from to run ads in your app or game. The banner ad control class provides a mechanism for incorporating native and display banner ads. Ad refreshing in banner ad control facilitates the renewal of ads by making new server requests and rendering the received ads automatically or manually. The interstitial video ad class allows displaying full screen outstream video. Interstitial video ads can be served as rewarded ads. Here we will prefetch the video ad to cache it and play when a user clicks the next button. The code snippet here showcases how to load and run an interstitial video ad. Are you eager to know when you can get started? The SDK will be launching later this year with support for apps built on Windows App SDK, WinUI 3, and also UWP. Here is the last topic of the session, actionable insights for store developers to increase reach and engagement. Today, we are taking a leap forward by bringing actionable insights out of the box in Partner Center using the power of data and AI. It is crucial to understand the effectiveness of past actions for developers, such as app updates or store ad campaigns. So we are glad to announce the availability of consolidated reporting views for key app actions such as app updates and store ad campaigns, and app performance trends such as installs, crashes, and ratings. Many of your apps and games in Microsoft Store on Windows receive hundreds of user reviews per month and it often gets difficult to scan and comprehend each of them for your appropriate action. So we are adding review summaries for your apps and games using generative AI to increase your productivity and enable you to focus more on appropriate actions for your customer feedback. 
Here is an example of one of the trend insights that we are bringing for you. Key app events such as app updates and store ad campaigns are plotted on the same timeline as that of the app performance, so it helps you correlate both and understand the effectiveness of your investments. These trend insights will be available in existing reporting of acquisitions, health and reviews metrics in partner set. We are bringing review summaries for both your positive and negative reviews, harnessing the power of generative AI so you can understand what you are doing well and where you can do better clearly. These are available in your reviews report in Partner Center. Thanks.